just because the company owns something doesn't mean you own it. And that's very important to understand, especially when you are more than one member ownership of the LLC, because the assets, the money, the profit, the intellectual property that is owned by the company is the company's. And the company through the company agreement will afford you whatever you're supposed to get if you're supposed to get it. And a lot of times the intellectual property is the company's and it's not owned by any one specific member. And so if you are selling intellectual property or licensing it, it's the company licensing it or it's the company selling it, not the members per se under the law. And so that distinction needs to be understood especially when you know you are signing agreements the company agreement also have whoever drafted that company agreement for you as a lawyer maybe as members you want to have another lawyer review that company agreement for you to make sure it's good for you it benefits you and it's fair for both parties or all parties as well and so having that separation and that understanding is really important because when you hire a lawyer who is representing the company, they are representing the company's interest. They're not representing the member's interest per se, individual interest at all. If a company hires me, I try to keep it very clear that I am being hired by the company. The company's interest is what matters to me. And I will be working with that perspective that what is benefiting the company the most and not necessarily the individuals, the members and their benefits at that point in time. And so that's some distinction that may not be always made, but definitely it is something to be understood because at the end of the day, again, the entity, your LLC is one entity and you are another entity who is contracting with the LLC, even though it's your baby, even though it's your business, even though it's your brainchild, that's what happens at that point.